before we do anything, let's warm up, my friends. Let's go to forearm plank. Or if you want, you can do full plank with the hands down. I'm going to bring the forearms down, elbows right underneath the shoulders. Pull the shoulders back. Let's, let's get some heat boiling and burning into our core and into the rest of our bodies. Breathing in the nose and out the mouth. Classic, classic Pilates breath. The first half of this workout, it's all Pilates and core enough to make you puke. And then get back on the mat and just keep going because it's so intoxicating. And then the second half is all about yoga. So perfect combination. Always, always trying to serve you the best that I possibly can. Draw those shoulders back a little more. Press the heels back. As you exhale, squeeze the abs. In the nose, out the mouth. Practice filling and emptying the lungs. There we are. Getting that heat going. You can always warm up prior to this as well. Walking, whatever workout you do prior. We'll say prior twice. We'll say Richard Pryor. Stir crazy. <laughs> Good movie. All right, five more deep breaths. You can drop the knees if you need to. This is good. We got some allergies going again in Florida. They seem to never stop with the pollen. So I want to clear out the airways. One more deep inhale and exhale. All right. Let's bring it down to the Pilates 100. Great way to get our movements going, get our breath and our movement coordinated, and to say we did the Pilates 100. Tabletop position or take the legs out. Heels together. Bugs. Toes apart, bugs in my mouth, arms forward. Let's pump the arms about five to six inches. Breathe in for five, out for five. Three, four. We do ten of these. Here's two. Three. Four. Five. Slow it down a little bit. Six. Seven. Eight. Last set. One, two, three, four, five. And we come to patty cake. Bring the feet flat out slightly. Take the hands up. We're going to reach across with the exhale. Inhale back to the middle. If this bothers your neck, just keep the head down. Let's do 20. Here we go. One, two, reaching with the abdominals. Take your time. Squeeze a little deeper. Four, five. <laughs> patty cake. Six. Seven, eight. Oh, that's good. Right across the whole body. And ten. Ten more times. Reach a little higher each time from those abs. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. <clears throat> Fifteen. Just five more, my friend. Sixteen. Reach a little higher. Seventeen. Squeeze a little more. Kiss a little longer with big red. Two more times. <laughs> Blast from the past. Here we are. And reach into modified crisscross. Let's keep hitting those obliques and the whole rest of the abdominals. Bring the knee in. Lift the chest to the knee. Then inhale, drop 20 times. Here we go. Here's one. Two. So coming across with the chest. Three. Nothing peeves me more. Peeves me or makes me more terse is taking your elbow across. Don't do that. All it does is pull on your neck. Lift your chest. There's five. Six, seven. Oh, the shorts are coming up. That's the free stuff. <laughs> As always, I may lose count a little bit. We'll say here's ten. We'll say here's ten. Let's do ten more times, my friend. Eleven. Oh, let it burn. Twelve. Thirteen. Nice and slow. Resist the urge to speed it up. Fourteen. Be precise. Be meticulous. Be an artist with your movements. 16. 17. Oh, that's good. 18. Feel the burn. Oh, the burn. 19. And 20. Six roll-ups. Classic Pilates move. You can always deploy an elbow if you want to help yourself off the mat. That's what my dad does. You want to move the junk around a little bit there. Take the arms 45 degrees or you know right up to the sky. We're going to exhale, peel off the mat. And then, let me adjust a little bit here. We're going to stretch up and over the toes. Long spine stretch. 
inhale up exhale slowly back down squeeze the legs together and that's one so lift peel easy on the spine and then reward yourself with the stretch take it even slower on the way down squeeze the legs every muscle working feel that stretch here comes three slowly on the way up to very good it was very nice this is very good how lovely to see you all right and coming to four slowly 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 ah the sweet release of the spine stretch but staying engaged in the abdominals at all times let's do two more times arms up a little higher keep them by the ears for a deeper stretch up take it down slowly squeeze the legs the mat will ride up your clothes will shift that's all natural you'll move a little bit forward or back and last one there it is up and over we're going right into the boat row so bring the arms down shake out the legs pull up your pants or shorts oh my god one over there saw my my new briefs half boat pose here we are we take the hands out you can add a weight to this if you want you're going to pull to the side squeezing the sides inhale to the middle exhale pull to the other side so you're rowing you're rowing like in central park 20 times exhale pull inhale there's one. Oh, i forgot to mention the advanced add-on is when you pull to the side extend the legs and then inhale back good god oh that's a tough one i'm gonna do a few of those there's five then i'm gonna go back to half bone if you don't mind six seven we'll get to ten i'll take it to half bone eight two more just like being in uh uh venice that's right oh man all right ten more let's just take it side to side one or eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen feeling that seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty oh oh man that was something else shake it out and let's come down onto our backs for toe touches <sighs> tabletop position fingers to the back of the head keep the lower back down you're gonna inhale lower your right leg from the hip let me smack it there from the hip and then exhale bring in a little squeeze a little crunch right there so we lower and we raise we're sticking with 20 on this one excellent choice take it slow <sighs> squeeze it to the center rather do one repetition with great form than 20 with really hurried form even if you don't have a lot of time it's better to do the form over how many you could do because you'll just get momentum going and you'll bypass all the muscles you want to work fingers to the back of the head not pulling just offering support here's seven and eight. Oh, they're burning nine I get a massage later today I'm very excited all right we have ten more again forgive the counting we're doing 20 count off 20 here's 12 13 head down if this bothers your neck 14 15 16 keep it burning 17 feel that burn <laughs> 18 19 all right we've been hammering those abs let's hit the oblique again let's hit the sides figures back there you're gonna drop as far as you go to the side without tipping over inhale the middle exhale the side. let's do 10 of these starting now if you want more extend the top leg out so it goes like this there's one precise two you can even three reach towards that foot four balance find the balance my friends five bring every muscle together six at a delicious pilates salad <laughs> there's a new t-shirt right there have you had your pilates salad today you get punched in the face if you wear that wear it to sweet tomatoes and 10 all right double toe touches you said it could have be done but we're gonna do it because we got a long way to go in a short time to get there tabletop position you can go back to one leg at a time or lower and raise 20 times either way it's all yours it's all yours guys make it happen engage inhale exhale one I'm gonna add a little speed here two I'm gonna keep my lower back down three oh it's burning it's stretching four five so I see right here the movement the negative part feel those abs stretch six 
seven, eight, in the nose, out the mouth, nine, oh, just tearing up the abs, ten more times, eleven, you ain't seen nothing yet, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, avoid this too, don't take the elbows in, it's going to pull on your neck, five more, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, whoo, nineteen, and twenty, okay, scooch forward just a little bit, I'm in a crevice, that's what she said. Roll over, if you don't want to do the roll over, here's your option, take the legs up, you can lower one, and then raise it up, okay? Inhale, lower, exhale, just like when I teach my live classes, I always give you options to do, because roll over is a classic, but it's more advanced. It's just, as it says, it's a roll over. So, what we do, take the arms to the sides, head is down, extend the legs out about 45 degrees, we're gonna exhale, Squeeze those abs and slowly peel off the mat, legs up and over. Now you can roll down from here, or I'm gonna add a little jackknife. You're gonna lift and then slowly come down. It's just like the roll up. It's very easy on the spine. Let's do five more. Lift, keep the neck loose, and down. Here's two, two out of five. Lift down every vertebrae has its moment Whew. in the sun and three or in the shade we're in the shade today it's blessed shade thank god for the gopro it picks up the light very well i hope it does all right two more times my friends slow it down if you could do it slower you have the master control over it it is your move you build every muscle from the core outwards take it down take it down Excellent. One more time. So take out momentum. Take it slow so you don't just fling your legs up and over. If it's not working, do the modification I gave you. <sighs> Slowly down. I'm going to roll right up to seated position. <sighs> okay, let's take it into the saw. Take your heels to the outside edges of the mat. What the hell is that? Take the arms out. You're going to do ten. Total. So we inhale tall. We're going to twist. Two pulses to the side. Here's one. Second pulse takes you all the way in. You're always lifting. Lift up and over the toes. Two. Maybe you're just getting warmed up for the yoga flow that's coming later. Like a full class right here. Okay. You want more workouts just like this, you sign up for my vault. SeanVFitness.com slash vault. Three more times. Reach a little further. And last one, we're going to get classic here. The big Pilates five ab exercises. Come on down, bring the right knee in. Blah, left leg out, this single leg stretch. It's five. We're going to flow from one to the next for optimum results and raise that heart rate. Heart rate? Heartbeat. Heart rate. Take the fingers to the right knee. You can also have the head down or fingers to the back of the head. You're going to inhale, exhale, switch the legs back and forth. Stabilize here, stabilize the core. None of this moves, just here. Fingers back here if you want, or head down, or just roll over and go into the bush back. Let's do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now single straight leg stretch. Take the right leg up, left leg out, reach as high as you can. Squeeze the abs and lift towards the knee with the nose 20 times. Inhale, exhale. Just one long pulse. Sometimes we do two pulses. For today, we'll do one. Here's four, five, lift, six, seven, eight, nine, classic. Ten, giving you so many of these classic moves. We could barely handle it. Look out, shorts are coming up. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, looking good, 19, and 20. Double leg stretch. We flow from one to the next. It's the way we do it. No weights, no machines. Tabletop position. Take the arms to the sides. Now inhale, extend out. Exhale, bring it in. Keep this upper body in the exact same spot the entire time. We're going to do 10 of them. Here we go. Inhale, exhale in the nose, out the mouth. Here's three, four, 
five, six, take the legs a little lower, ooh, seven, it's a good sign, keep the lower back down, eight, nine, and ten, double straight leg stretch, extend the legs up, bend the knees to modify or take the hands under the hips, I'm going to take the fingers to the back of the head, you're going to lower both the legs, flex the feet, and then point bring them back up eight times here we go here's one. Oh man I like having the hands here a little prayer two three there it is inhale lower point bring it up be very efficient with your movements five three more times six seven and one more time eight and now reward yourself here's the whipped cream on top the crisscross 30 times the full one we go across one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty more 13 14 15 17 18 19 20 10 more one slow it down three four five six seven eight nine ten and bring it up seated position Whew. All right, grab a quick drink, towel, spit, curse. Mm. Ah. So many things to do. We're going to take it on to our stomachs now. Is this camera angle okay? You guys like that back there? You guys like that? I'm going to switch the cap. This is important. It's got a haircut. Not ready to unveil it yet, though. Not ready yet. All right, I'm tucked in. Addy's excited back there. I'm going to do some dry swimming. Tried that once. Back in the 80s in Wisconsin, I got arrested. But this is all right here, dry swimming. Come on down, single leg kick to begin with. We'll throw in swim. Sorry about that, <clears throat> sorry about that. Swimming as we go along, bring the forearms down, palms flat, draw the shoulders back. So we got a nice chest opener here. We got a little flex in the lower back, legs hip width. Single leg kicks, you do two pulses on each leg. It goes like this, you're gonna point, flex, bring the foot down. You exhale, exhale, inhale. Okay, let's do 10 total. Here we go. There's one. Two. Three. Very nice. Oh, by the way, you can bring the stomach off the mat if you like. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more times. Nine. And ten. Going into double leg kicks. Let's clear a little path here. You're gonna bring a cheek down, bring your hands to your lower back. We're gonna kick both the legs this time. So it goes kick, kick, inhale, lift. Everything up, eyes to the floor, then come to the other cheek. So let's do 10, here's one. If you want more, you could reach forward instead of back. That's two. Three, keep it neat. That's so nice, four. The inhale and the lift just coincide perfectly. Six. Seven. Did I just lose count of where my face was? <laughs> Eight. There's nine. One more time. We're going to go right into the breast stroke. So take the arms forward. You're going to exhale. Pull them back. Now 10 times, inhale forward, open the legs, pull back, one. Take it slow, really get the full benefit of the movement, that's what we want. Three. Oh, that's so good for the back, four. As long as you got a soft surface for the jump. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more time. Nine and ten. Let's pull the straps, arms to the sides, legs together, eyes to the floor. Now, as you inhale, let's start with just the arms. You're going to inhale, reach out of there. all the way forward, grab those imaginary straps, and pull them back. We add the legs. We inhale forward, open the leg, pull it back, all right? Ten times. Here we go. One. Two. Oh yeah, three. I got those straps. I got your straps right here. Four. 
five, six, seven. Hang in there, my friends. Rest when you need to. Eight. Modify as needed. Nine. Woo! And ten. Okay. All right. And we go into the full swim. Take those arms forward. Damn it. Gotta switch that around. There we go. Arms forward. Shoulder width. We swim. We lift opposite arm, opposite leg, and go slow. Or you can just speed it up. Let's do 15 seconds. Here we go. One, two, three. Make sure you're breathing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more seconds. Eleven, twelve. Come on. Thirteen. Come on. And fifteen. A well, well earned child's pose, my friends. Press it back. Open the hips a little bit and stretch right here. In the nose, out the mouth. Whew, that lower back should be a little tight, but you get that feeling of it's been well worked. Well worked indeed. Two more deep breaths. Fill and empty, fill and empty, my friends. The deeper you can breathe in the abdominals, it actually tones your core. It gives you that lift, lifts up your body. It's how we train. When I trained as a singer, we don't breathe into the chest. We don't want to breathe this shallow breath in here because all it does is constrict this area and tightens everything up. You breathe down here, it stretches out the front, the sides, and the back. It actually pooches out, then it goes back in. Makes all the difference in the world. It tones the core and it gives you that lift all the time, not to mention deeper breaths. More oxygen you bring in, the better you will feel. More energy, more focus. Life doesn't suck when you have all that oxygen just drowning your muscles. All right, my friends, leg pullbacks. Leg pullbacks. Come into a plank position here. Fix the shorts. Open the fingers wide. These are rather challenging. Classic Pilates moves. I'll stop saying classic Pilates. This is a Pilates move. You're going to lift with the inhale. Lift your right leg. You're going to press forward with the exhale and press back and then lower. Then you lift the left leg. So you press forward, back. But the first thing you always do is lift the leg. Let's do 10 of these. Here we go. And then down. So here's two. I'm sorry. Let's fix that breath. Lift and then inhale forward. Exhale back and down. There we go. Or just breathe normally. Sometimes we get too caught up in how exactly to breathe. We don't breathe. Or we don't count. Here's seven. <laughs> Let's do ten. Do ten. Eight. Nine. One more time. Looking good. I see it. Now lower all the way down. Superman. To plank series. Ten times we're gonna reach out, nice breath, and then take the hands on the shoulders, press up to plank. That's one. Press it up. Two. Lower slowly. Work those shoulders, those arms, that core. Three. Slower down, elbows into the sides. There we are. Four. Man, when I teach these, my clients curse. They curse probably at me, at themselves, but they know it's working. You always curse when you really feel it. Let's tighten it up. I got a little sloppy there. Here's six. Press up slowly as well, that's what she said. We're on seven. I went too fast. I'm going to slow it down. I got to redeem myself. Here's eight. Now, up slowly. Woo. Going on nine. I am eight going on nine. And one more time. Woo-wee. Sorry about saying woo-wee. Our last one here. And press up slow. How slow can you go? No, 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 no. All right, quick child's pose. Two deep breaths, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move into a bike 
scissors series. We like to bike, we like to cut things with scissors. Let's do that right now. Whew. Two options. One, come down onto your back and extend the legs up here. You got fingers back of the head or arms to the sides. You're going to bike. Or you can come up into what we call shoulder stand. Take the hands to the lower back, lift up, and we bike from here. Keep it drop the arms down to the mat. Okay, 20 each direction. One, two, three. You're up a hill. Four, five. Not many hills in Florida. Six, unless you're in Claremont or the Panhandle. Nine, ten. We're going over an overpass. Ten more times. Two, three, four, five. You ready to go backwards? 17, 18, 19, 20. Ch -ch 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 -ch. All right, let's take it backwards. Here we go, 20 times. One, two, three. Chain's coming off. Four, five. My voice is changing in this position. Six, seven. Keep those knees soft. Eight, nine, ten. You got ten more, my friends. Do it. No one else, is, no one will do it for you. Must do it yourself. A status update doesn't do it. A tweet doesn't do it. You have to get down here and do it. And then you could brag. Three more times. One, two, three. Now, from either position, I'm going to itch my nose. <laughs> scissors. So we scissors as big as you can 20 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, you could drop the arms down. Six, seven, eight, nine. That is unreal. Ten. Ten more times. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, you got it, 19, 20. Slowly come down, roll up, seated position. All right, quick drink. Mm -hmm. Very close. I got three more moves for you. Oh, we're going to come in a little over 30 minutes. I mean, this, this video is just going to break all records. I want it to be the biggest thing on YouTube ever. Biggest thing ever, the King Kong of YouTube, the Beatles of YouTube, the Ernest Borgnine of YouTube. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh, yes. Hmm. All right. T stand with a twist, 10 times. We're going to come back to plank position, really test our metal with this one because we get a side plank out of it plus a twist. So we open up, then we thread the needle, take your eyes to the hand, lift back up, and then down. There's one. Let's do 10. This thread up down. Here's three. Nice, isn't it? Here's four. If you want, you can just do the T stand or just hold the plank. And down. Just keep it going. Do ten. Do ten. He says as he thinks he forgot the count. Two more times. Oh, we'll add the push-up in another workout. There's a push-up option. But when the yoga comes in, you're going to be doing a lot of flows. So we don't want to burn out too quick. All right, now, <clears throat> take the hands down. You have the option to do the drop-down plank to Superman again. I'm going to add on a little pulse on that. What does that look like? Well, gather around, I'll tell you. I'll show you. Here it is. We lower down, we do the Superman, and then we press up, boom, little pulse right there, and then lower back down. It's like a gunshot, boom. Let's do it from this direction. Check out my other side. Hi, hey, Eddie. Ten times, by the way, so pick your option. Here's one. Two. <laughs> That's a jolt, isn't it? Three. Uh, here's three. Four, five, gonna sleep well tonight, six, <laughs> seven, get out of there, eight, nine, mm, a little slower, be the mat, Sean. Be the mat. Oh, one more time. Just in time. 
and then bring it up and walk back to the back edge of your mat and lift up. Oh, wait a second, let me fix the camera here. Yeah, I do this myself. Finish off the Pilates core section with 10 Pilates push ups. You can do one push up, you can do five, but you're going to do 10 all together before we move into our yoga portion. So lift up, back bend, dive down, walk out, plank position, elbows in the sides. It's a Pilates push up, it's a tricep push up. Down, up, and then walk back. Take the arms up, back bend, dramatic. Here's two. Precise. Whispering. And three. Was that dramatic enough? There we are. Remember, you can do more push ups if you like, right there. Just keep the form. God bless you. God bless you all. There we are. God bless us, everyone. Here's five. Ah, feel the Pilates strength coursing through my veins. Six. Got a lot of stretching going on here, a lot of flexibility. Down, going into seven. I just love these. I love Pilates push ups. Teach them all the time. Three more times. There's eight. Keep the rhythm, rhythm of the night. Nine, one more time, guys. It's all yours, it's all yours. You're the one doing it. You're the one reaping the benefits, building that strong, lean, youthful body, no matter what age, no matter where you live, what you do, these will benefit you. All right, bring it up. Let's come down, child's pose. That's the Pilates core section of the workout. Don't worry, we'll still be hitting the core in the yoga section, but we'll be at a different location. So I'm gonna come back to child's pose and we're gonna morph it dramatically and brilliantly, of course, into the yoga flow. Pilates core part officially ended. New location, new wardrobe. Let's move on to the yoga portion of this workout. I'm gonna switch here. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> And I think, my friends, this calls for a voiceover for the yoga to try a lot of new things with this one. You can always modify, you can always adjust accordingly, or just hold the pose you're in. We're going to take it up a notch, have a good time, want to make this the best damn core Pilates yoga workout in the universe. All right, so let's take the voiceover right now. And welcome to the voiceover, my friends. Let's tuck in our shirts. This is a yoga portion of this epic workout. Let's come to Downward Facing Dog and walk the legs. Open the fingers wide. Remember, always modify as needed. Always use control. This one's going to move. Oh, baby, it's going to move. And if you like this, just wait for my new book coming out, Power Yoga for Athletes. Stay tuned on how to pre-order that. As always, Addy, my dog, will be wandering around curiously, but... That's just the way it goes. I love bringing her with when I film. So I imagine wherever you are, there's going to be things happening around you. Let's stay focused and keep on breathing, walking the legs. You can always watch this first and then come back and do it the second time when you get more familiar. Let's come forward. Inhale forward in a plank position, hands under the shoulders. Press forward slightly and then lower down. This is called hover, chaturanga, forelimb staff. Inhale, lift up to upward facing dog, or you can do this with your forearms down. Now for every pose, there's a modification, but work your way up to the ones that I am doing. Back to downward facing dog. Relax the neck, inhale forward to plank. Press forward a little further and then lower down. Lead with your chest so we don't sag in the center, and then lift up. You want to breathe deep into all of these poses. Classic yoga breath is in the nose and out the nose. I'm smiling. Very happy. I love coming out and filming these videos for you. So if you love them, subscribe to the channel. Let's take that right leg up. Extend as high as you like. Shake out the leg a little bit. And then sweep it forward into a lunge. See how the knee and the ankle line up. We bring the arms up. 
called Crescent Lunge, fingertips together. It's a coincidence. My sister lives in La Crescent, Minnesota, so it's like a Twilight Zone thing. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step back, plank position. Press forward and lower. I love that chaturanga, that four-limb staff right there. Inhale, open up, up dog or baby cobra. And then back to downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, extend. I'm shaking it out. I mean, you just did that 30-minute Pilates core workout. So take, take the time. Sweep the leg forward. Crescent lunge, other side. Stretch your right leg. And really get a little back bend in there, keeping the shoulders relaxed. We're in the shade today. It's about 95 degrees in Florida. I love to sweat, but the sun I could do without. So to be safe, we're in the shade. Step back, plank position. Forward, lower down. Dun, dun, dun. If you get really strong, you cannot even touch the mat there. You just hover for a second, then press up into upward facing dog. Pull the shoulders back, squeeze the glutes. Downward facing dog. Right leg extends up. Sweep it forward. Now lunge, lace the fingers, press palms up, and side bend to your right. So big stretch down the left side of your body as you hold the foundation of that lunge. The bend in the right knee. See the, the right angle there? I wasn't great at geometry, but that's a darn good right angle. Let's step back. Plank position. Press forward. Lower down. There it is, my friends. Inhale, open up. Look up to the sky. I got choked up there saying that. Take it back. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Exhale. Sweep it forward. Lunge. Fix the blouse. Lace the fingers. Press up. And now we side bend to left. It's amazing what you can accomplish on that mat right there. And the mat is red. Some people think it's pink. It is a red mat. <laughs> really stretch it out. As you stretch, my friends, keep those shoulders down. Keep them away from the ears. That's what you want. All right, very dramatic. Step back, plank position. Vinyasa flows. We got the flows here. Inhale. Lift it up, eyes to the ceiling, shoulders down, squeeze the glutes to protect your lower back. Take it back, downward facing dog. And let's walk the legs again. Good 10 steps here. So, And as I walk, it's a little hard to see here, but I'm turning my knee. As I bend the knee, I turn it in towards the center. There it is right there. You get this beautiful twist in the lower back. Because when we do this stretching, these poses, these yoga poses, it's like getting a massage. You're actually going in and moving everything around. You release it and your body puts it where it needs to be. All right, back to down dog. Right leg lifts with the inhale. Exhale, sweep it forward. We have lunge. Then we go to warrior. See that back foot pivoted out. Pivoted, tough word to say. Lace the fingers again. We're going to do warrior crunches. We exhale forward, inhale, lift. Okay? I believe we have five on each side. So exhale, Inhale, lift. It's in the core, so try to keep your arms right in the same spot in relation to your head. So they're right next to the ears there. My shoulders are relaxed. I'm stretching the heck out of my back leg. Exhale, really stretch right there. I say it. That's how I think it. I want to do it. As I do this voiceover, I wish I could do this right now. <laughs> Lengthen forward. Hold for a moment. Hold it. Hold it right there. Feel those abs working. Feel that core working. And then exhale, da -da. bring the hands down, step back, plank position. We got to get to the other side, but to get there, we must go through Flowville, Vinyasa flow. Inhale, lift up, flow, Alice, pick up, dinghy. Comment what TV show that is from in the comments. Lift the left leg up and sweep it forward. We have lunge and then pivot that back foot out, bringing the heel down. All right, my friends, lace the fingers again. We have another golden opportunity to do our warrior crunch on the other side. So exhale, lengthen. We got five times. Stretch it out. Inhale, lift. Keeping the foundation of the legs. Exhale, forward, inhale up. I love doing it on any of my videos you ever see or if you ever attend my live classes, I always shake things up. We never sacrifice form, of course. We always hit the classics. But we always challenge. I love adding new things in, new variations to keep challenging your mind, body, and spirit. All right, hold that extension there, that hinge in the warrior. Lots of breath. Your breath always defines the pose. It gives it life. Yes. All right, bring the hands down. Step back. Plank position. 
Don't you love plank? You loving it yet? Take your time. Lower down. Look at this. No, 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 no. Be the plank, Danny. Be the plank. Inhale. Lift up. Up dog. Take your eyes to the sky. Looks like a painting back there, that blue sky. That is a real Florida sky. We have downward facing dog. And my friends, let's walk those legs again. Turning the knee in towards the center. Gain the twist. I'm relaxing my shoulders. I'm stretching my arms. If you ever need to modify this, you can always just bring the knees down to the mat. Walk it out. Got to get 10 walks here like you're walking through snow, walking through mud, getting a big stretch in the hamstrings. All right, itch the nose and jump or walk forward and rising up, standing position. All right, tree pose. Bring the hands together. I'll mirror you here. So take your left foot below or above the knee or take your ankle onto the thigh. Now you can keep the hands together if you like in that tree pose. Look at that shirt, by the way. Or you can do this little movement here. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, pull them down. Sorry, it's, it's very warm, sweaty. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. But hey, people pay a lot of money to take hot yoga classes in Florida. Every day is hot yoga. Inhale up. Keep the balance. Exhale open. That, that is the way to do it, by the way. Sean Vig's Power Yoga for Athletes. That is the book that's coming out. So stay tuned how you can order it. And pull it down. Challenging your core here. Challenging your balance. Your eyes are fixed on a spot. All right. Now take the leg back, your left leg back. This is called star pose. My shoulders are relaxed. The leg is back slightly. And of course, your standing leg, which is your right leg. Your knee is a little bit soft. Never, never lock out your joints. All right. Now step back. We come into triangle pose. Turn that right foot in a little bit. Reach out. And there's triangle. Hip is open, reaching tall. Fantastic pose for your whole body, opening up the side, massaging the organs. You can also have that left hand to your the inside of your leg like that, or to the other side, or take the fingers onto the leg. Triangle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open that arm a little bit more. Fixing the shirt. It's a brand new shirt. It actually, I just got it in the mail. Now we extend that arm, that right arm. If you're able, look up into the armpit. This is pretty, pretty extreme stretch, but it's so good because you're going to feel a whole bunch of tension right near your, um, your waist area. All right, now bring the other hand down and lift up into revolving or reverse triangle. Inhale, lift a little taller. Keep stretching that leg in the front. There we are. And now come on back to plank. We're going to do a flow from right here. Lower down. Hover, inhale, lift. A little different angle. Enjoy my butt. And then back to downward facing dog. Jump or walk forward. Rising up. Yes, we have tree pose other side. A little celebration there. But why not? we got to celebrate this stuff. It's awesome. All right, open up your right hip. Remember, foot below or above the knee or put the ankle on the thigh. You hold the tree or I got you covered. we got five of these arm movements. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. This is one of those poses, those movements that if, if someone's watching me, it's, it don't look very difficult. But once you do it, because you it's what's not moving that is always working the hardest. And this, your core, the rest of your body is stabilizing while those arms move. But it's so good for athletic performance, for any sort of performance that you do in your life. Running, cycling, football, basketball, anything, golfing. To keep that core strong and keep the rest of the body moving around it. Good. Little back bend in there. We're always adding in new things. All right, step back, star pose. You're a big, bright, shining star. There we are. Leg is back, shoulders down, lots of breath in the nose, out the nose. This workout, my friends, this core yoga workout, it is a complete workout. Step out into the triangle, pivot that. I'm mirroring you again, so pivot your left foot in a little bit, reach out, and there we are. That little part of the branch really wants to get on the camera there. It looks like a boom mic. All right, there we are. Triangle pose. Keep lifting. You don't want to just drop down in that pose. You're always using that core. You're always getting the most out of each pose. 
And now extend that left arm to the side. Reach. If you want to do that, you can inhale, bend the arm a little bit, then extend. I always think that helps as well, especially if you get a little extra tight in there, a little spasm. Just keep opening. You can see I'm a little more flexible on this side because this is how I shop at the supermarket, just like that. So, of course, I do that more often. There we are, reaching, reaching. Get a full dose of that shirt. All right, now reach the other hand down. We have revolving triangle. This is very intense. You have a twist happening. You're working your thighs. You're opening the sides. You're opening your chest. You're also focusing because your eyes are going to a totally different spot. You're on this interesting angle. It's like the room has been flipped upside down and twisted. All right, my friends, step back. Plank position. We owe ourselves a vinyasa flow here. So press forward, slowly lower down. The arms should feel a little fresh after that stretch. Inhale, lift up, eyes to the sky. We take it back, downward facing dog. And let's walk the legs. Every time you come to this, my friends, you will feel more flexible. Your body starts to melt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. dog. Whoa. She, I mean, she does these weird things like that. Every time you come to this pose, you'll just keep on digging a little bit deeper. The hamstrings will loosen up. Right leg comes up. Sorry, I sip my coffee. Lengthening. Now sweep that right foot forward. Pivot the back leg out. We have the triumphant reverse warrior here. Lifting that right arm up. We're going to go back and forth from this to standing splits three times. So bring the fingers down. Lift that left leg as high as possible. And then the tricky part is returning. There we are. Right back to reverse plank by the power of gray skull right there and then take it forward again into standing splits look at my leg my leg went a little bit higher i tell you do do these poses a number of times and there's a massive difference as your body really gets on board stretching back a little more and again standing splits tuck that chin and now jump back or walk back plank position and let's do the flow Lift it up, eyes to the sky, red car. Back to down dog, left leg lifts. You better believe it, my friends. We're going to do that on the other side too. So pivot out, reverse warrior. Love that stretch. Working the legs, working the balance. Big stretch, and we come forward, standing splits. You want the transition to be smooth. Whatever you do on the mat, my friends, you will do in your extracurricular activities in the sports that you play in any activity you do what you do on the mat will enhance it so much strength speed power all the stuff we crave and again we have standing splits uh with dog digging it's like an art exhibit right there she's going to do a little digging all right step or jump back plank position eyes to the mat then lower down slow and lift up, upward facing dog. Good, hold a little bit longer than downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, sweep it forward, pivot out. And now lace the fingers. We got a side bend warrior here. Another new pose, new variation. Addy's not impressed. Let me scooch back a little bit here because we're going to go from here to half moon. So take your right hand down and extend up. Do what you can. Of course, do what you can. Don't try to go all the way into this pose if you've never done it before. Move slowly. This is half moon. The left leg is lifted. My left arm is up. And then return to our side bend warrior. Lace the fingers, shoulders relaxed, and sinking back. This one feels amazing. I mean, you know it. Your metabolism is actually speeding up because every muscle is working. And again, half moon. Extend up. My eyes are on the mat. If you like, you can look up to that left hand. You can also take your right fingers slightly off the mat to make it a balance pose. This pose is featured in my upcoming book. All right, step back. Plank position. Lower down and sweep it up. Up dog. Good. Check the surroundings. A little twist side to side. Ring out the spine. Take it back. Down dog. Left leg up. And let's repeat this triumph on the other side. So lace the fingers. A little wink. And stretch it out. I'm going 
back. I'm stretching back with each exhale going a little further, keeping the foundation of my legs strong. Looks okay. Looks a little hot back, so I have space. <laughs> and then half moon. There we go. I went a little too fast. You can see I got a little shake going there. Reaching. So I'm getting so such extension there. I'm actually reaching off the screen. There we are. Good. Back to warrior. Get the legs. Lace the fingers and draw back. Good. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. When you're done with this workout, like the video, comment, share it with everyone. Tag your workout buddies. It's my pleasure to bring you these workouts. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them. All right. Half moon again. Take it slow, Sean. Oh, there we are. I love it because a lot of times I go into the pose and I'll stumble a little bit and then I go back to the foundation. I focus, I breathe, and then the pose happens. It's always a good lesson. You want to be very mindful of everything you do because there's no accidents in here. All right, take the hands down, step back, plank, press forward, lower down. Inhale, lift it up nice and tall. Downward facing dog. Now bring it forward. Let's lower all the way down. Take the arms out to the sides. A little scorpion legs here. Reach the legs back and forth. I'm going to do 10 of these. Keep the hands down and go. I actually had never done this pose before. I had seen it. I always loved it. So this is the first time I ever did it. You can see me getting really excited here because I'm like, shit, this is really fun. Um, the goal is to try to touch your hands. I'm not, I could maybe do that, but that would require kind of flinging the leg. I don't want to fling. Hey, man, I don't fling. But take it side to side. If you can only touch, you know, just slightly, that's where you are, my friends, and that's where you will work from. I'm exhaling as I'm going across, looking up. It's a great stretch for your lower back and your quads and your hamstrings. All right, get the grit out of the fingers. Let's take the arms forward. We have Superman. Hold your Superman right there. Lots of breath. Shoulders back. Each inhale, you lift a little higher. Each exhale, get a nice stretch in your whole body. Superman, eyes to the floor. Now press it up, a little pop there. Take it back to a downward facing dog. Right leg lifts. Hey, it's yoga. Let's keep on flowing, my friends. Now this is called the scorpion. Keep that right leg lifted. You're going to come forward to plank. You can hold there or dip down. I'm actually taking my elbows in. I'm leading with the chest, lifting that right leg as high as I can. It's scorpion. And then inhale, lift up. Up dog. Addy dog. And then back. Left leg up. Take it forward. <laughs> That's called a dog tap. Forward scorpion, lift that leg. It really burns the arms, brings everything together. Then sweep up into upward facing dog. Of course, you can bring your knees down as needed. No pun intended. All right, downward facing dog. Now sweep the right leg forward, pigeon, little pigeon back and forth. Lift and then step back to down dog. Dog digs. Exhale, bring the left knee forward, pigeon, open the chest. And then step back. You can do a number of these. You can pause it here and just keep going. Pause it and hold the pigeon longer. But I love moving in and out of the poses. The transitions are the key part. Something that a lot of people don't focus on. Sometimes I don't. How we get from one to the next. We focus so much on the actual poses. We don't figure out how we get there. All right. And now scorpion once again. Because it's just so damn good. I love that. And then lift up. Upward facing dog, left leg back. Prepare your scorpion anytime. Lifting that left leg down and upward facing dog. Jump or walk forward, half boat pose. Got there a little quick. Sorry about that, but you know, you just get inspired. And I'm going to do a little arm pump here. This is a version of the Pilates 100 done in a half boat. This is madness. So inhale for five counts as you pulse. Exhale for five counts. You can extend the legs out if you like on the inhale. And then uh, and then exhale, bring them back in. That is killer. It is killer. You can see me experiencing that now. Stop. Inhale, extend the arms and legs out. Exhale, bring them in. Call this the accordion. So you're going from half boat to full boat. Just keep on going. Keep on going. Addie was biting herself there. Keep on going. Inhale, extend out. 
exhale, bring it in, inhale, extend, exhale in, and bring it down onto your back, the disappearing dog act. This ab sequence, my friends, will murder you no matter how, what shape you're in here. I want you to bring your right leg in, left leg out, and just hold it. With each exhale, squeeze the abs a little bit more. Bring the nose closer to the knee. I call this a little yoga ab series. And keep drawing your right leg closer to your face. Lots of breath. And then we switch. We open the legs and reach through. So every exhale, you're going a little bit further. A little bit further. You can hold these longer, of course. We can call this the yoga ab murder destroyer sequence, something like that. I teach this one a lot in my classes, especially power yoga classes. And then bring your left leg in. Now the fun part is that left leg, see the left leg, my friends, keep pulling it closer to you. So you're tightening everything. You're taking on any bit of slack. You're ratcheting it up. Look at my leg shake. I love pointing that out. Look at my leg shake. Press the heels away and now roll on up. Step or jump back. We got plank. Come down to your forearms. I got a dolphin for you right here. Dolphin pose. Walk the feet in. Just powerful, powerful pose. Working and strengthening your arms and shoulders, stretching your legs and back. My, my hands are together. You can place the palms flat. You can lace the fingers. You can walk the legs in dolphin. You can make dolphin sounds. But lots of breath in the nose, out the nose. You're breathing into those deep abdominals. So you're belly button, your sides, and your lower back are all expanding. Here we are. Neck is loose, by the way. All right. Now step back. We got a little forearm plank here. Let's just hold our forearm plank. Modify with the knees down. You want to tighten up your plank. Draw your shoulders back. Press your heels back. With each exhale, squeeze your abdominals. And keep your chin tucked a little bit as if there's a little Florida orange between the chin and the chest. It'll save you a lot of neck aches. Here we are. Let it burn. The forearm plank is your friend. Friend. Lots of breath. I agree with myself right there. I agree with what I just said. All right. Take it up. Back to downward facing dog. Remember this one? I think we've done this one before. Let's sway the hips side to side. So my legs are together as we go side to side. A little different view there. Look at that. So that's what was to my to your left the whole time. Now mystery is solved right there. More trees and a dog <laughs> wandering around. So take those hips side to side. Open the fingers wide. Exhale to the side. Inhale to the center. And here's what vinyasa flow looks like from the front. There's plank, lower down, inhale. Hello, Mr. Vig. Your reservation is ready. Your table's ready. Take it back, downward facing dog. All right, my friends, right leg lifts. Now, this is the Spider-Man. You're going to draw that leg out to the side, lower down, kick the leg back, and up dog. If that's too much, just do vinyasa flow, which in itself is very challenging. So left leg up. Take the leg out to the side as you come forward to plank. Keep it up as you lower down and then dun, 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 extend it back. Upward facing dog. All right. Take back down dog. Let's do that one more time. That was just marvelous. Right leg out. Come down and lift. I am covered with dirt and grit. My favorite kind of workout. If you're not dirty, what's the point? Take the left leg out to the side, lower down, building strength and power in the arm, shoulders, back. You're going to run faster. You're going to move better with more precision. Now, child's pose. If you don't like child's pose, I don't know what to tell you. It's a great stretch for your back, stretching the shoulders. You're breathing deep. Then there's a shot from the other side. You can see what was behind the camera. More trees and a nice little trail. All right, let's go back to Live voice. Thank you, canned Sean Voice. Let's do thread the needle. Take your right arm, slide it underneath the other arm. Lift your tailbone to the sky. You can have this arm forward or take it to your lower back. Whew. Let's do some deep stretches here. Make this the ultimate body weight workout. Why don't you do it anywhere? Do it in your house, your gym, your hotel room, your opera house. Out in the middle of a field, wherever you are. Thread the needle, other side. 
Ayan. All right. Take your right foot forward. You're gonna do a low lunge with back bend. Very dramatic. So we take the left knee underneath the left hip. I'm just covered in filth. Addy was laying in the dirt. She was digging a hole. That's pretty much what happens any time we film outside. <laughs> You'll get a good bath when we get back. Take the arms back. You're gonna just extend back. A little back bend here. Press forward. I'll fix the junk. Press forward. So you stretch in this hip flexor right here, the left side right here. I guarantee you, that's gonna be tight. And you're working the quad right here. You can also lace the fingers together if you like into a mudra and breathe. Eyes to the tree. Always about five deep breaths. And then runner's lunge or the splits. Extend that right leg. You can keep it here lengthening forward or slide. This back knee back. I have been slacking on my splits lately. Let's see what we got here. Hands down for support. Mud on the hand. Move a little side to side. Find that perfect spot. Woo! Not bad. We're getting there. Great stretch to do at night also before you go to bed. After a hot shower. All right, let's do that uh, low lunge on the other side. Bring the leg through. Uh-oh. Other foot forward, left foot forward. Drop the right knee down. Fix the blouse. Hinge forward, open the chest, and then drop back. Lace fingers if you like. Eyes up, open up the throat, the chest. Dropping the shoulders down. Fine day it is in the shade. Protect our skin. Still sweating like crazy, but it's like being in a hot yoga class. Except I call the shots. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to this channel, by the way. Subscribe, share the video, like it, comment how you did. Share it with your workout buddies, your friends. Don't keep it a secret. I appreciate it. Ah, head to my web page seanvigfitness.com sign up for my online training program check everything out got lots of stuff on there and then we go into splits or runners stretch so extend the leg or slide oh cheat sheet gotta have a cheat sheet got thousands of those at the house slide back there we are i'm not afraid to get a little dirty here at seanvigfitness.com stay tuned how to pre-order my premier fitness book too it's called power yoga for athletes features over 140 poses and we're putting just a whole bunch over 30 full workouts in there too so it'll be your total training resource you can take it with wherever you go and i'm going to film some of the flows once we get them out there on this channel so we can link back and forth so you can see what's on there get you on the book get you on the videos from the book so everybody's happy workouts we can take and do anywhere anytime Definitely increase your performance in whatever sport you do, whatever you do. Yoga is there for you to give you that massive edge, that massive edge over your rival. All right, let's brr, ah. Let's just be incoherent for a second. Straddle stretch, my friends. Hi, Eddie. Open the legs wide as you can. Am I flex? Yeah, I'm flexible enough. I don't touch the dirt. All right. Ah, fix the blouse. There we are. I'm gonna do a little side bend here. Bring it over to your. I'll mirror you to your right side. There we are. Reach as far as you can, draw this left shoulder back. Each exhale, go a little further. Stretching, uber, uber important to lengthen those muscles. Flexibility is youth. Stretch those muscles out, release them. You will look and feel so much better, especially feel better. Feeling young and vibrant and tons of energy. You move so much better no matter what you do. And it may save you a lot of doctor's bills also, keeping those muscles nice and stretched. All right, full onto this right leg. Every exhale, lengthen. This shirt's going to the wash. Hope you enjoyed this workout so far. It's my aim, my friends, to always give you the best that I can, always learning, 
always adding new things in but never sacrificing strong form and foundation and of course enjoying the hell out of what we do we want to enjoy it fitness should always be a fun exciting endeavor challenging yourself going to different levels and of course making yourself better in every way all right other side side bend that is happy yes sure it's just brand new it feels weird sorry when you watch my videos you're gonna get a whole lot of uh wardrobe wardrobe annoyance <sighs> feel that right in here that lower back pressing this right hip away <sighs> rolling your right shoulder back <sighs> nice long lean stretch you are going to be about six inches taller i bet when you get up after this workout my lord how far we have come, how great, how great it is, my friends, how much you have done, and then fall onto this left leg. Come here, leg. Yell at your leg. Oh, I just, I need a shower, but I love it. I don't like working out unless I get dirty. Even if I'm at the gym, I'll bring a bag of dirt and throw it on myself. And really, no one notices, because at the gym now, everyone's just on their cell phones the whole time. It's not really a gym anymore. Just a place for people to hunch over and send LOL to people. <sighs> but out here we don't have the distractions. You can do what you like. Keep on stretching one more time. <sighs> All right. Now take it to the center. Walk your hands forward. Oh, I'm going to walk right in the dirt here. Take some deep breaths here. Each exhale lengthen. <sighs> 3D coming at you. All right, walk it back up. Walk it back up. Let's come to a standing position. Okay. Feet hip width apart, a little side bend. Take it to the side. And other side, that's how that works. Inhale up, back bend. Exhale forward, fold, squeeze out the breath. Inhale, lift all the way up. Keep those knees soft a little bit. Back bend, one more time. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lift. Oh, this is epic. This is fucking epic. Take the arms up. Pull the arms back and down. Feel the posture. Shoulders sliding down your back. And one more time. One day more. Bring the arms up. Let the palms come together. Bring the hands slowly down. Magnificent, my friends. What a good time we had. Namaste. God bless. Beautiful, beautiful workout. Thank you for joining me today of all days. Do this workout every other day. Do it three times a week for a couple weeks and see how that feels. It doesn't have to be your only workout. You can supplement it with your weight training, whatever else you do. But I tell you, this is the stuff, the core strength and flexibility training that builds that core, that stretches out your body, that helps you look and feel great for today and for the rest of your darn diddly life. Heidi ho neighborino. Ned Flanders would love this workout. Abs. Sean Vig, SeanVeek.com, head over to my website, sign up for my free new, my free e-newsletter, it's tough to say. And uh, you want to get on my full program, check out my vault, it's up there, SeanVeekFitness.com, slash vault, full length workouts just like this, there's over 35 of them right now in the vault, new ones every week. New ones every week, my friends. Um, as always, I appreciate your subscription, your likes, your comments, your eyeballs, and of course, your energy and your vitality and your vitalis. <laughs> to this endeavor. I run my own fitness brand. It's an amazing experience, but I can't do it without you. So I thank you. I appreciate you. Um, stay in touch. Keep me posted how you're doing. Check out my Facebook page. Sign up for it. And you can get a lot of uh, fitness information on there too. Great little community. Actually, pretty big community we have going there. It's a good time. Watch for the book coming out. Watch for that nev back there. Actually, that place on the, your right hand side. I've been teaching Pilates and yoga in that facility. That's the Arson Park Clubhouse. I've been teaching there for over seven years. Still packing them in. We get between 10 and 25 people every class. The last seven plus years. So I'm very grateful for that. Always a good time. It's good. Everyone's happy. And, uh, you know, your money, baby. Oh, your money. See you next time. God bless.